Hey, Scott, I just want to ask you about that uh, that catch before halftime. Uh, obviously, that did a lot for you guys to create some separation. Uh, there's a ball coming at you in the back of the end zone coming at you really quick. Just talk about the precision of that pass and, and how much you guys have worked on hitting that to, to set that up. Yeah. Um, first and foremost, I just want to give all the glory to God, um, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But um, but as far as that as far as that play goes, it was a it was a sweet play. Tom put it on the money there in the back corner. Um, it was just a really a straight go route. I just ran right at my guy, got on his toes. Tom put it up, and um, I just I knew it was close to being out of bounds. So I tried to catch it and then just dropped straight to my knees to get at least one knee down. Um, and it ended up it ended up working out. But again, he put it right in right in the bread basket and it made it easy for me. So it was good. Thanks, Kelly. Next question will come from Scott Reynolds. Hey, Scotty, congratulations on that 100-yard game. It's your first as an NFL player. Your thoughts on that milestone for you? Yeah, um, it's crazy. Just a, just a blessing, really. Um, something, a goal of mine my whole life was to, to get 100 yards in a game. So uh, just an awesome moment for me. Um, couldn't have done it without all these guys, all these coaches. So just really thankful for all of them and all the work we put in. Um, it's just a really, really special moment for me. Scotty, you guys have weapons galore on this team, especially in the wide receiver room, including yourself. Now you have Antonio Brown coming to Tampa, uh, pro bowler, Super Bowl champion. What are your thoughts on adding A.B. to this arsenal you guys have? Just excited. Like you said, we got a lot of really good players and added one of the one of the greats at, at the receiver position to our room is, is scary. Um, so I'm just excited to meet him um, and really just excited to learn from him. I think we're similar type of receivers. Um, as far as like deep threats and, and smaller guys and stuff like that. So just excited to meet him and excited to learn from him. Um, and I think he can really help my game out in the future. Thanks, Scotty. Next question will come from Rick Stroud. Scotty, how, how have you been able to work through, you know, your various your various injuries? And I mean, this is a team that, that uh, seems to be very unselfish, right? And so when you add somebody like Antonio, it must be a mindset of your group. You see Tom spread the ball around. Are you guys just all about winning and everybody in the room is together? How's that work? Yeah, the end goal is to win every single week. Um, so you see, like, Mike is one of the most unselfish superstars in the league. Uh, he only had a couple catches today, the past couple games. Um, but that's really because he's getting double teamed the whole game, really. And that's what's making it so so much easier for me um, and everybody else. So you really just have to have that mindset um because we have so many weapons as you guys know so you never know like last two games I, I haven't really done anything either um so you just gotta be ready when your moment's called when your name's called and make the play when the ball comes to you and is is there a better guy at the end of that half you know to, to get the separation there with that two minute drive I mean just what's that like being in the huddle with watching Tom convert those third downs and execute oh it's great I mean He's the best at doing it, dinking and dunking and finding the right guy on those third and four, third and fives. Um, so it's really just we just run our routes and let him work his magic, and he's going to find somebody, and he's going to get the first down and just keep extending the drive. And then eventually we'll hit that big one when they start creeping up. Thanks. Good. Next question will come from Jenna Lane. Hey, Scotty. Um, I know that you guys have had some challenges in the second half of games, uh, not quite having the same production as you've had like in the, in the first half of games. Uh, it seemed like it was going to be that way a little bit there in the third quarter, but then you guys went on this scoring surge starting with, with uh, uh, Chris's touchdown and, and then the, the takeaway. And um, can you just talk about how important that was for you guys to really close out this game the way you did in the fourth quarter? Yeah, it was huge. Um, in the third quarter there, we had a little lapse um, where they scored on us, and then the game was, I think, within one score. Um, but then our defense really came up big, you know, turnovers, like you said, um, just third down stops, and our offense just, just did what we do, you know, kept converting third downs and then getting the ball in the end zone. We didn't settle for many field goals. I don't know if we had we had any, maybe like one, but um, at the when we, whenever we got in the red zone, we were finishing with, uh, with six points. So, um, if we can keep doing that, you know, we're going to be, we're, we're going to be tough to beat. And you mentioned already having Antonio Brown as a teammate, you know, he's, he's been accused of some things publicly. We've, we've heard it all. I've been accused of, of sexually assaulting two women. Um, and how, how do you kind of balance, you know, the things that you hear or that you read about players? Uh, it's not your first time playing with a player that's been accused of that, but like, how do you kind of balance that with, you know, at the same time, you know, 
allowing yourself to kind of get to know someone organically, like what, what kind of feelings does that produce for you when, when you have a teammate that, that has some baggage like that? Yeah, I think really just giving him a blank, can blank canvas, you know, he's, he's been suspended. He's, he's done all the things that the leagues had him do, had him do. Um, so just come in and treat him like anybody else that would come in, you know, give him, give him a chance just like anybody get to know him. Um, and I don't know too much about his past. I haven't, I haven't been too, uh, I haven't researched anything about him or anything like that. So, um, like I said, just excited to meet him. I think we all are. Um, I think he's going to all the only, one thing I have heard about him. He's one of the hardest working guys around. So I think we're just excited to have him. Um, I think he's going to do a good job.